Where to start? Okay. Well. Okay, can everybody hear me? Perfect, okay. So um, thank you all for coming tonight. I know Keith had already mentioned that, but I wanted to say that I know it means a lot to Katie and Kyle to have you here to share their day. And Keith and Robin, thank you for raising such a wonderful daughter. Okay. So when Kyle called me and asked, Dad, would you say something at our wedding? I responded with, uh, sure. <laughs> Truth be told, I've only been to three weddings in the previous 25 years, and one of them being my wife, Peggy's mine, okay? I had no idea what to say. So I did what I always do when I needed an answer, I Googled it. What I read seemed kind of mushy. Some of it I could agree with, like telling Katie how beautiful she looked tonight. But the part where it said for me to tell Kyle that I loved him in front of everybody, nah, that ain't gonna happen. <laughs> so I started to think about what I could talk about, and it, I came to the, the trials and tribulations of Kyle's childhood. <laughs> then the teenage years, the first time I took him driving on the road, <laughs> and the infamous 16th birthday party, and graduating from high school. Okay. Then came the 20s, graduating from college, getting a job, listening to him tell me he was certain he would never find a woman to marry. Whoa. Talking with him, <laughs> I know, right? Talking with him as he was driving to Longmont to, to stay with Kevin and Aaron. Okay. Then there were the phone calls. The phone calls about his frustration at work, the phone calls about his frustration with life, the phone calls I would get from Kyle telling me he was convinced the pain he felt in his back was some life-threatening illness because he read it on the internet. <laughs> As I was thinking about all of this, I was trying to decide on what I should write down in this speech, and the only words that I could come up with was, thank you, Katie. <laughs> When Kyle first called me and told me about Katie, I could hear the excitement in his voice. He told me how they met, where they went on the first date, the fact that she was a teacher and that she had liked to like baseball. We talked about Boomer, where she was from, about her family, all the normal things you would talk about 
with one of your children that has met someone they really like. And at the end of the phone call, Kyle said to me, Dad, uh, there is one thing. She's an Astros fan. <laughs> it's not like I hate the Astros or anything. So I thought to myself, that's okay. She and I will have, a, we'll have to come to an understanding about this. And we have. Fast forward two years and here I am not saying anything about the Astros and Katie's having Kyle buy me Jose Altuve Father Days cards. <laughs> In all seriousness, when Kyle called me asking me if I would talk at their wedding, I was honored. I knew it would give me the opportunity to tell everybody how proud I am of my son and how happy I am to have Katie in his life. You both have accomplished so much in a short period of time. I'm proud of both of you. Katie and Kyle, I want you to know what I really thought about this and as I sat down to read this, re write this speech. For those of you who don't know, Kyle's a photography business. He started about three or four years ago. He bought some nice equipment, created a web page, and started taking pictures of the landscape, senior portraits, and family pictures. In June of last year, I retired from coaching. On the final day of the state tournament, all my kids showed up to watch the game. After the game ended, it was customary to have families come out on the field and take pictures. As things winded down, Kyle suggested Peggy and I take one together, so we did. I saw the picture and I liked it, but the true meaning of that picture didn't resonate with me until a few months later. You see, son, that picture you took is a constant reminder of the one of the things I truly enjoyed in life, and that was coaching you kids. For 25 plus years and, the co and countless hours, I was given to spend time with you all. I loved every minute of it. It reminds me of seeing you become a coach yourself and how, much, how proud it made me feel sitting in the truck, watching a high school baseball game with two boys on the field. Christopher is a player and you as a coach. And how it made me smile seeing the two of you together standing in the dugout watching and talking about the game. What may be a, sing a simple picture for most, it's a lifetime of memories for me. That Kyle was the greatest gift you could have ever given to me. Thank you for taking that picture. <laughs> So as I sat down to write this speech, what I really thought about is what gift I could give to both you and Katie. That would mean too much as you as, as that picture means to me. Kyle and Katie, if I could give you both one thing, I would give you the ability to see yourselves through my eyes right now. Seeing yourselves together, husband and wife, the first look at the pond, saying your vows at the altar, the look in your eyes of how much you love each other and, ha and the happiness you both express of being able to share it with the people you care about the most, your friends and families who are around you today. That would be my gift to both of you. Kevin and Aaron, thank you for all the years of friendship you've given to Kyle. He has, he has and still does tell me how much he means to him. Katie, you do look beautiful tonight. <laughs> Thank you for bringing the joy and happiness into Kyle's life. And Kyle, son, I love you from the bottom of my heart, and I have since the day you were born. So I'd like to propose a toast to Katie and Kyle. I want to wish you love, happiness, and a long life together. If you choose to have children, may you be blessed with both boys and girls. And if you do have a boy, remember, Keith and Jim are good names. <laughs> but Kyle, the title Great King is mine. I can only sacrifice so much. To Katie and Kyle. revise this multiple times. <laughs> this is what I've come up with. <laughs> Growing up with Katie, I pretty much met my lifelong teacher right out of the womb. <laughs> when we were really young, she would sit me in the corner amongst piles of her stuffed animals and teach me everything she had ever learned. Me not understanding anything as she went on and on for hours. 
Occasionally, she would put together entire tests for me and make me sit at a desk and take them, <laughs> grading all of my mistakes after I was done. I would then return the favor by smearing around all of her perfectly portioned, separated food until she screamed her head off at me. <laughs> She still does that, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Later in our teen years, Katie was the best asset to me of all. I feel like the firstborn child always has the toughest, uh, testing the waters of what our parents will and will not put up with. Um, now at this time, Katie and I had bedrooms right next to each other, sharing a wall. And whenever Katie would get into trouble, I would sit in my room, take out my notebook, and take notes of what not to do. <laughs> so thank you for always being the guinea pig so I could skate by the house, mostly trouble-free. You're welcome. And when Katie and I lived apart from each other, we would always talk on the phone about where our next sister trip would be or where we wanted to travel to if we ever left Texas. She was, um, a little over two years ago, Katie and I were talking on the phone, and she was talking about how she was gonna quit her job, in Texas and moved to Colorado, and I dismissed her saying, oh yeah, cool, that'd be so fun. And I didn't realize she was actually serious until I started to see her list things on Facebook Marketplace. It started out small, a dresser, end tables, and then I started seeing practically everything she owned posted online, and I called her and was really confused, asking her, like, what's going on? She told you, I told you, I'm moving to Colorado, like literally tomorrow. <laughs> I was dumbfounded, you know, after us saying we were gonna go move places for years now, she actually went for it. A few months after she moved to Colorado, she called me in Fort Worth and was pretty much begging me to come and live with her, telling me how awesome it was and how much fun it would be for us to live together again. I put her off for a month or two until I called her one day and said, screw it, let's do it. I'm coming to Colorado. <laughs> she convinced me to because both of our lives have changed for the better. Katie and I have grown extremely close together throughout our lives. We love hard, argue constantly, but always make up with a glass of wine or even the entire bottle. <laughs> She's the most caring person I know, extremely resilient, and would drop anything for the people she loves. I'm so happy that she has found Kyle, who will love and protect her, just like I have my entire life. Kyle, <laughs> true, I've always been taller than her, so natural protector. <laughs> Kyle, I hope you love growing old with her as much as I have loved growing up with her. Cheers to Katie and Kyle, and Katie, always remember, sisters are we, friends we will be. <laughs> Congratulations, Katie and Kyle, cheers. All right, so he already introduced me, but again, for those that don't know me, I am Kevin. I am Kyle's best man today. Um, first and foremost, I wanna say what an incredible privilege it is to stand by him, on his, by his side on this special day. I have known Kyle for 3,962 days, <laughs> or about 11 years now. The reason that I know that is because I met Kyle when he crashed my New Year's Eve party back in 2012. <laughs> he tagged along with some mutual friends who actually were invited to the party, but he showed up and pretty much hasn't left my life since. <laughs> so I've known Kyle a pretty long time now, and with knowing someone that long, we've had countless conversations about everything and anything. Kyle's the type of person who needs reassurance or feedback from his friends and family before making any kinds of decisions. And as one of Kyle's best friends, he asked me for my opinion or my input on pretty much everything. From big decisions like touring houses he's interested in buying, car choices and career moves he's considering, or small things like debating DSLR versus mirrorless cameras, or whether it's okay to wear shorts and a t-shirt with a puffy vest, which I know <laughs> is your signature look, <laughs> but I still think you should just wear pants if you're chilly. <laughs> but you do you, Kyle. <laughs> Kyle will even send me pictures of meat in his fridge and ask me if I think it's still okay to eat. <laughs> which is kind of really hard to do when I'm looking at a picture of packaged chicken or steaks, but you haven't gotten sick from it yet, so I think I'm pretty good at guessing. 
All of this is to say that Kyle can second guess himself sometimes. But one thing Kyle has never doubted himself on or second guessed himself with is Katie. Katie, since one of your first dates with Kyle where you baked boozy cupcakes together, he's been quite captivated. You truly bring out the best in Kyle and I'll be forever grateful for that. <laughs> I've never seen him as happy as he is when, is, as when he is with, he, with you and Boomer. You compliment each other so well, and it's clear to see the love and joy you both share. To Kyle and Katie, as you begin this new chapter in your lives, my wish for both of you is that you continue to grow together, supporting and loving each other through every twist and turn that life can bring. And if you need to send me pictures of potentially questionable food for your fridge, just know I'm always a text away. <laughs> So here's to the groom, Kyle, a man of integrity, humor, and unwavering loyalty. And to Katie, thank you for making my friend the happiest I've ever seen him. <laughs> Not just today, but every day. I love you guys. Oh, and there's one more thing. There was a request from table four, I think. They want to hear Kyle say milk. <laughs> So I would just like to say, I found out about 20 minutes ago, it's my dad's fault that I say this. So how I pronounce it is milk. But just wait, Katie knows how to fix it. Milk.